Yeah, it was the second in a series of seven, my large immovable objects, um, was on a covered bridge out in the countryside of Oregon. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure where it was at, because I haven't really been there. And I have a car. I mean, I'm really poor. I'm an artist. But basically, that was sort of a, um, you know, I just, I really enjoy the sort of the country aspect of, of Oregon, the rural thing. So I thought I would do something that really tied in with that. And it was really, it was pretty well received. Um, a lot of the people out there really like it. And again, it's functional, because um, cars, and, and again, I'm tying in the automobiles, you know, with, with American culture, et cetera, Americana. And so cars actually go through this, whereas with the parking structure, you know, it's more of a staid, formal piece of, of art. This one has a lot of transition in it with the cars going through it, and I really, I really appreciate that. Another thing I did here, um, this was a, a performance I really, I enjoyed. I got some coverage, as you can see. Uh, with this one, it was of me, and it was about, it was me and about 499 other people. And what we did, essentially, is I, I was really fascinated with the idea of moving this, just this mass of people through the streets of, of Eugene. And so we basically, it was sort of like a, a common on protest and, and throwback to the 60s, et cetera, et cetera. But we marched them through Eugene. You know, at the end, I gathered all the people together. And, and it was really, it was an enjoyable thing. I kind of stayed in the background for it. A lot of people weren't aware that it was a performance I was doing. My video, <laughs> my video, it's called Art Concept Salutes His Penis. And um, basically, what that is, I don't know how accessible that is. I'm really impressed with it. But it's probably the ultimate in a masturbatory experience. Um, basically includes, you know, extensions of my phallus, such as my, my bicycle, my, my records, my stereo, 12-inch collection, you know, my loafers, you know, I mean, these are all part of really who I am. And, it, and if you see it, I think you'll get a better understanding of exactly who I am. who they're supposed to be and what they are. And they don't really quite figure it out for a long time. But I knew right away, it was the first work I did. Um, basically, I was enclosed in a very, very small, warm, tight environment. Um, I believe it was my mother's womb. And I came out. And you know, essentially, it was, it was a birth. It was a birth of art concept. And that's where I knew I was going to be a performance artist from that day on, because it was the ultimate creation. It was, 
the creation of me. And, you know, it was really well received and, and uh, the beginning of a wonderful career. I don't know, I'm, I'm fairly happy with it. My, you know, my mother, I had to have some assistance in it. I couldn't do, that was one of the works I couldn't do on my own. But, you know, I'm really happy that she helped. And what about your mother? What, what, what do you mean? relationship with your mother? What, why, what does my mother have to do with that? I, I'm, not, I'm not hung up on my mother, okay? Just leave her out. I love her. She, she's a wonderful human being, so I'm not just... I don't, what are you insinuating? You know, I'm not hung up on her, okay? Okay, just... I, I want you to cut this out of here, because I don't like what you're saying. You just don't understand. That's a very good question. I guess we'd have to start with with Plato and his notion of art concept in that art is a concept. And I think Aristotle reinforced that. And we get that down through the ages. We get that through Dante. We get that through Shelley and the apology for art concepts, which not a lot of people know about. It, it was the second version of the apology for poetry. And it doesn't have many of the same lines, but it's still just as good. And then we move on into the Romantic era of Schiller and Schelling and Kant and all those people that just brought drugs into art, which I thought was very, very useful for a lot of us, you know, such as Coleridge and um, Herman Hesse. And um, moving on up into the modern era, when we have Joyce and stuff that brought in that stream of consciousness, which I think we all needed at that time. And now um, we're into the postmodernists. We're not, I think that art concept is possibly the best postmodernist is. Um, nobody else fills me with that feeling of pastiche that I think art concept does. And it's this whole mixture of tones and levels and feeling that you get in his work that absolutely has no purpose. And that's what I love about it. There is no purpose to it. And it just kind of, what was the guy's name? Art concept. Art con what art concept symbolizes is that nothingness, that absent center that everybody has talked about for so many times through The Bachelor Machine and Walter Benjamin and all his reproduction of art and all that kind of stuff. Everybody ultimately had to come down to the absent center in the fact that there really is nothing that matters. And I think our concept has epitomized that. My cigarette. <laughs> well, I don't know. A lot of people are kind of confused by it. I mean, I don't understand why. I, I guess they think I should light it. I don't understand why. I don't know. I mean, and then the same thing with my glasses. It's like, I guess people think I should wear them when it's sunny. I don't know. I don't. I guess I don't subscribe to a lot of, a lot of what everyone else must subscribe to because I, I don't understand what they're saying. You can tell me about that. But I don't know. A lot of um. Oh, it's popcorn. Yeah. Learn from popcorn. No. I love this stuff. It's like my life. Um, a lot of people are really, I don't know, they're really confused as to who I am. I mean, I don't, I don't think they quite understand it or they don't, for lack of a better word, they don't get it, I guess. I and mean, there's really nothing to get. But there's nothing I hate in this world more than people who are obvious. And, you know, I think it's great to have a little illusion, a little mis mystery around you, you know? And I'm not going to come right out and say who I am. I'm not going to tell people, you know? This is who I am. It's, they need to interpret it for themselves. Because that's ultimately what art's all about. That's what I'm all about. I am art. I love myself. <laughs>